It's November 22nd, 2015. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as nuclearproctologist.org, maybe. <laughs> and so, tonight's video is about Asby Brown from Temple University in Japan. And why Japan shouldn't hang him, even though it's legal. It's legal. It's legal to hang people in Japan. But apparently not in Canada, unless you get the laws changed. And that's what I've called for in over 500 videos, allegedly. And they found a couple of sentences where I might not have said that perfectly. And now I'm standing in front of the man. Or woman in my case. And that's fine too. But all the birds on the coastline of British Columbia didn't die from smoking. I know. That's a shock to me too. What they died from was... Hang on, you ready for this one? Fukushima. Ah, oh, Fukushima. So Fukushima had a 9.0 magnitude earthquake. Uh, on the scales of earthquake, that's the, oh my God stuff. It's a thousand times worse than Haiti. And that it rolled through the country at 9,000 miles per hour. Think about that one. 9,000 miles per hour. It hit Florida in a half an hour. It was a thousand times Haiti. It shook that country for six minutes. If you got a, a bookshelf there or a cabinet there or a stereo stand there, I invite you and all your friends and loved ones to get on one side of the cabinet and hang on as tight as you can and shake it for six minutes. And let me know at Dana Durnford at Hotmail.com how that worked out for your uh, precious belongings that were on top of that chummy. Okay, I said chummy. So, let's talk about let's talk about Fukushima for a second. Now, Japan had that earthquake and then it had a tsunami run through the country. That tsunami hit the nuclear power plant for sure in Japan called Fukushima uh, Diachi. I call it military, military industrial complex but what it was is that these detonations, these, these water in updating the place, it took all that infrastructure out. Now there's three 100% meltdowns but there's actually four 100% meltdowns counting unit four. But there was a whole bunch of power plants along that entire coast. Now, this one in particular, this is what happened to it. It blew it up. And then this is unit one. That was 100% meltdown, melt through, and a melt out. And we're going to cover that in very deep detail coming up. This is unit two. It was 100% meltdown, melt through, and a melt out. And if you look at that hole there, you see all that metal. That was the, the ladder going up it. The reasons like that is because you can see all the windows torn out of this one. That tsunami, that that tsunami actually came right through the whole country and took out. Let me get on track here, Dana. It took out 500 miles of the coastline, roughly. It took out all the infrastructure and everything else. Now, if you don't understand what that means. Then I'm going to help you out with that in a moment. This is Unit 3. Unit 3, of course. I don't know if about you, but it doesn't look too good, right? It blew up. That was Unit 1 blowing up, mind you. Um, now, that's Unit 3. They're putting a little fire hose on it. It needs a million gallons a minute. Does that look like a million gallons a minute to you? That's important for later on in the video to remember that. It takes a million gallons a minute. After 90 minutes, they start to melt down. Unit 1 melted down in 50 minutes. But what happened to this building? Everything is missing from the building. The building completely detonated, caught fire, blew up, caught fire, detonated, caught fire, blew up, caught fire again, blew up, detonated, lost its inventory by March the 18th. What? By March the 18th? That's just, that's just hood pooey stuff, Dana. Well, no, not really. Pay attention and I'll tell you the rest of it. This is important because we got an extinction event playing out here in Canada and the Pacific Rim nations. And it's time to get smart. It's time to have a conversation. Sorry, here we go. Unit 4. Now think about that building. 
Okay. Are you looking at it really well? Now take a good look at it and get a photographic memory for Dana. Now look at this building. I know what you're saying. Dana is not the same building. No, it is. They tore everything off the top of it. Yeah. Do you know why? Apparently they had a little leak in the roof and they couldn't get anybody to fix it. And so they said, smurf it. I'm going to take it all apart. So there's nothing left here, right? Take again, according to the media. So they built a structure. They're going to put a crane to reach down into the structure that was remaining, right? That little tiny piece of remaining. They built that structure up with cranes. That's the homeless there getting their rads. They're dead. They're long dead. But meanwhile, the media come out and told you it looked like that inside of a building that's no longer there. And if that's not good enough, inside of that building, in the ceiling of it, it looks like that. Does that make any sense? But they got to use that to pump water into it because that looks like that. Does that make any sense? Don't feel bad. You're not alone. This is the building. And how can we get from there to here with no photographs or pictures or construction? Because you can't do it. You can't get in Chernobyl and make it look like that and like that when it looks like... Well, this is... Chernobyl is a candlestick compared to this thing. This thing alone, all the fuel pools around the roof were multiple cores from the reactors. Does anybody get that? Does anybody understand what that actually means? When you put out, you take your, your reactor out, it's still extraordinarily dangerous. It's unstable. It's two million times worse than what it was originally. And so they keep it underwater, about 30 feet of water, and it boils off 120,000 liters a day each pull into your community of radioactive material. Because the rods have already went through a chain reaction, and they, they are cracked throughout it, and the radioactive elements are, are leaching out there. If you try to contain it, it's a noble gas. It'll detonate. You can't contain it. And so they don't bother telling you that side of it. Meanwhile... There was four melter reactors, 100% meltdown, melt through that you told us about. But let's think about what that 500 miles of the country looked like. It wasn't just Fukushima. So it's not like the, the wave came right into wave came right into Fukushima and stopped. No, no. The wave came in at the same time as 600 miles an hour and went through the whole coastline. Over here, Dana. Go ask those kids. Was the country destroyed? Go ask their kids. Did the tsunami come through their communities? Go look up on the internet. The tsunami. And then look up province by province throughout Japan. And you'll come to the same conclusion I got. That 500 miles of the coastline was eradicated. Was plugged up with debris. There was no way to get water in there. We're going to go down that road in a little tiny bit very fast. we got to keep moving. we got a lot to cover. Or eight minutes into it. But they're taking this stuff to incinerators, burning it at 3,000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. Hang on, I'll get you a picture of it. They're taking this stuff and liberating it back into the environment. You can't get rid of it. You can't destroy radiation. It was created in the bowels of hell, remember? And so all the stuff that's going into the ocean, and that this model is based upon six years. Now, it only takes... 45 days at 5 miles per hour for the current to get across the ocean, yeah? And so after 45 days, there's 45 plumes behind the first one. This model you're looking at is based upon one plume from a single release and not from a melted reactor, not from the spent fuel pools, not from the other reactors. It's only based upon a single release from a single reactor for a couple of days. It's only based upon two of the elements, and I need you to keep that in mind why we're talking here in a bit. And so, I don't stop. I haven't stopped in order so that I can get here and have a conversation with you guys and, and talk about this. And how we went up, hang on, we're getting there, how we went up and done the entire coastline. Right, we've done the whole coastline for 260 days. We're not some random people on the internet. We've done 15,000 miles of the coastline. We took hundreds of thousands of pictures. 
unimaginable amount of underwater footage. I have a history on the ocean that is unparalleled. I've worked 14 years as a commercial diver and ran over a dozen commercial dive boats on the oceans. I've worked boat oceans in Canada extensively year after year after year after year after year underwater and above water. I've done every industry in boat oceans in Canada. I'm not some random person. Deal? Deal. Let's keep going. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cover a bunch of headlines that are really important. And this is about Asby Brown from Temple University saying there's no radiation in Tokyo drinking water. And so, as bizarre as that's going to sound, even though hanging is legal, it's legal, it's legal in Japan. It's okay. You can, you're, it's legal. It's like smoking. It's like buying chocolate bars. You're allowed to hang them in Japan. Legally. I know. Why don't Canada get with the game, right? Well, he didn't. And that's what we call for all the time is we got to change the laws. Now, I know the trolls have lost their mind over at Eni News. And that's okay. As trolls. Right? And so instead of talking about the issue, they're demonizing me. They're saying, oh, Dana's calling for anger. Dana's calling for hanging. Oh, but hey, wait a second. We have an extinction event in the Pacific Ocean. Yeah? It's an extinction event. What am I supposed to say? And I always say we got to change the law. And I'll never stop doing that. That'll never change. Because that is legal. And if you can't live with that and you're going to demonize me, it's because you're not playing by the same rules, are you? Fukushima, nuclear plume covered most of North America. How many plumes do we got to get to make it real bad? Just one. How many have we got? How many? 1,700 or something, right? Let me see if I can find another one. Give me a second here. I think I can make myself show up here in the same picture frame. I got to work the kinks out of this bugger yet, but hey. There you go. You can see me there screaming in the background. Let's get on with it. Radioactive releases may continue for a year or more after fission is stopped, if it ever stops. <laughs> Think about this one. Senior advisor who resigns the Japan government set the public radi radiation safe limits 20 times too high. Right? So that's why Asby Brown says there's no radiation there. It's because the radiation levels never stopped at 20 times. They kept bumping it up to accommodate the constant releases. I'm not kidding you. But he tells people, go ahead, feed it to your kids, give it to your kids. It's okay, I work for Temple University. I'm not saying to hang them, even though it's legal. i got to find out if burning them at the stakes is legal here in Canada so I can still burn off some steam. Comparisons with x-rays and CAT scans are meaningless. Are pointless. Inhaling a particle of radiation exposure increases it by a factor of a trillion. Because it never stops beating. And when you die and they cremate you, you re-liberate that isotope into the environment. It can float around for a million years. But no, Dana's like a banana on a potato chip and walking in the sunshine and getting on an airplane. Don't ever say it to me. Don't ever say it to me unless you're writing a letter when I'm in jail for, for calling for people to stop lying in desperation. It's too late now. Anyway, it don't matter. We kill the Pacific Ocean. It's dead. There's no oxygen left in it. There's no animals left in it. All the whales are dying left, right, and center emaciated. We've done 15,000 miles of the coastline, 260 days. Trust me, she's all done. It can never come back. The 5,600 species that were there, there was 4 million other species there, and they didn't receive the coastline. You know, because normally they, the normal species would just receive the coastline. You went out and plowed in a healthy coastline, it would just receive the coastline. It didn't do it. So that means the ocean is dead. That's why we see the mass die-offs in the last couple of years accelerating. And everybody's like, I don't know what it is. I don't know why they're starving to death. It looks like everything is gone. Yeah, it's all gone. And you can't hide it any longer. It's over. It's game over for the entire planet now. You've done it, really done it to us. Top official says meltdown likely underway at a second nuclear reactor. Really? I'm just tormenting you. 
Official presumed the two nuclear reactors have now melted down. Nuclear official confirmed an explosion at a third reactor. Japan now says, hey, you know, we've got a melted fuel at uh, reactor one, two, and three. More serious in the meltdown, Japan says. Don't mind me, i got to look here so I can read it. More serious than uh, Japanese government are now raising possibilities to fuel melted at all three reactors. That's a long time for I even open my mouth. Actually, I made a video the very first day about this, 25 minutes about depleted uranium. Because we knew the melt reactors got... Let me keep going. Fatal radiation levels found at Fukushima exceeds 10 sievers per hour. Five, five sievers will kill you. Five sievers, you're dead. You might live two weeks if you're lucky. Ten sievers, you ain't going to live two weeks. You're going to get a couple of hundred feet down the road. <clears throat> and, you're, and, and like the Hiroshima women, they, they sat down and, and they squatted out their uteruses and then he fell over dead because it liquefied in their bodies. Huge problems. All parts of the fuel rods appear to have melted in all three reactors. Miss Tepco. We sacrificed 800 homeless. You know what sacrifice means? You ever see Dr. Raymond Gilmetti's studies on beagle dogs and beagle puppies? He fed them radiation. Not fruit flies, but dogs. And they all died in about four years. Every single time. For 30 years. 35 years. Dr. Raymond Gilmetti from Loveless Respiratory Research Institute in New Mexico. L-O-V-E-L-A-C-E if you're looking it up. Japan crews are facing a 100-year battle at Fukushima. But there's no radiation in the drinking water in Tokyo, right, Asby? Asby Brown from Tempacol. I suppose I'm not allowed to call him out now. He's going to complain to the Canadian RCMP. Dana, Dana was calling me names. He said that Japan should hang me. All I said was I didn't care if the kids died of cancer. I would drink the water anyway. I make a lot of money. I work in a university. I'm Asby Brown. I'm heartless and soulless. <laughs> what we face... We gotta drink it. Everybody's like, what the hell was that, Dina? Let's <laughs> keep going. IAEA uncontrolled nuclear chain reaction may be coming from melted fuel. I'm Dana Durnford, nuclearproctologist.org. Send your hate mail to Dana Durnford at hotmail.com. Let's keep going. Uncontrolled nuclear chain reaction. Gee, I wonder what that could be. Is that like bananas? Is that like puking bananas is out all over the place? Is we're going to get invaded by bananas and potato chips? Yeah. Because that's what they told you, isn't it? Hey? Oh, it's like radon. Oh, there's more natural potassium in the ocean than there is from fucking Shima. You don't need to. You don't need to. You know, you don't have to worry about it. I'm a scientist. I'm a fucking scientist. You don't have to worry. It's like a banana. Ooh, fucking banana, you prick. You stupid fucks. Don't drink the rainwater to state of Virginia. Might have Ebola in it. Well, we got Ebola. We got lock the whole country down. Radiation comes in and never goes away. Radiation? What fucking radiation? What the hell are you talking about? You know, people are retarded. There's no such thing as radiation. It's like a banana. That's why I'm in court now because I, I won't accept it. It's like a banana from the banana pukers themselves. Most disgusting things on the planet. Anybody says anything about a banana? Should be ashamed of themselves. Radioactive iodine, 3,000%. Uh, is it safe for my kids, uh, Mr. Government? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I talked to you, Vic, and I talked to uh, Woods Hole. They said it's okay. Yeah, you go ahead and give it to your kid. <laughs> I guarantee you they're driving down the road every day. <laughs> Thinking about all the carnage coming their way. Cesium and iodine bought at 600% above EPA, maximum containment levels in Hawaii milk. Mommy, can I have some more milk? Yeah, honey, here you go. I listened to Woods Hole and you, Vic, and they told me there was nothing wrong with it. Yeah, you'll be okay, Timmy. When you get that chemotherapy, all your hair falls out, you can pretend you're a rock star. But, Mommy, I don't want to get cancer. Suck it up, little slave. 
But hey, you know, I got 500 headlines on Hawaii. I'll never get through it. ABC Australia, win from Fukushima will shift towards Tokyo out of world. <laughs> Asby Brown, no radiation here, man. I had disappeared after eight days. I got an eight-day half-life, you know. I'm, I'm from Temple University. You can't trust me? What the hell is wrong with this world? I'm a university. I work at a university. I am God. I am God. God. <laughs> Tokyo has lost almost all control of the events and the Fukushima energy official. Oh, if that's all you had to worry about. <coughs> energy commissioner calls Fukushima an apocalypse. Almost everything is under control. Almost. Almost. Sure, you're even under control. They're calling it an apocalypse. No, you're gonna do. You should be hung for saying that. <laughs> Don't use those words, Dana. <coughs> be banging on my door Tuesday night again. French says Japan has lost control. See, was just the other ones. Big bullies. Dina, you can't trust the French, Dina. There's people out there debunking every headline as I'm doing it. Oh, it's for me, and he knows you can't trust them, boy. All he done was aggregated it from all the mainstream media. It's not like they, they wrote the article, moron. Not like they don't link you over immediately, morons. Well, we know Jovic and Woods Hole used to tell people that all the time in emails, right? <laughs> Fucking lying sacks of shit. The radiation too high for typical personnel to stay in Fukushima nuclear plant control row. Very grave situation in Fukushima. Danny, you photoshopped all those headlines, Dana. You just hate nuclear, Dana. You're just using it to beat up on the industry. You got a dead Pacific Ocean there. It's dead, moron. When are you people going to wake up and get your acts together? When are you going to make a stand? Because this is humanity's last stand. Whether you realize it or not. And you can't have a bit of fun. Call for a few hangers. I mean, gee, it's all kind of shit now, isn't it? Very grave situation in Fukushima since Japan's Prime Minister. Now, Klan, he come out a number of times, right? He's done lectures and everything about it. What we have already is the worst case scenario at Fukushima. But it was all the other reactors on the coastline melted down too. Yeah, you remember those pictures of the tsunami ripping the country apart? Huh? Huh? You better go back to my video. I put them there earlier. Forecast map of the radioactive cloud shows a threat to the U.S. West Coast. According to Woods Hole and Uvic, that is not true. That is categorically a lot. I'm just saying. Nuclear plant designer Tokyo is suppressing information and Uvic and Woods Hole and the Canadian government, American government. Serious meltdown, highly likely. Likely! Wait till we get to the doozies I got for you coming up. Ho, ho, ho. Would be like Chernobyl's on steroids. 3,450 nuclear assemblies. Each assembly is 80 rods. Each rod is 18 pounds and 12 feet long. And if you had a pound of it in the theater with 1,500 people, in 20 minutes they'd all be dead. In the first minute, everybody in the front row is gone. That's a rod. A single one pound. Each rod is 18 pounds. You're talking about uh, 280,000 rods in each reactor. But guess what? Every 18 months or so, they take it and put it up on the roof and, uh, oh, I don't know how to spend fuel pool. That's not there anymore, morons. That's why we got a dead Pacific, because all the reactors melted on the fucking coastline. That's why they took me down and made me take down 300 presentations so you couldn't see all the data I compiled and all the fucking work I had to do to do it. Now I got to do it all again. I've worked like a dog to get to this stage. Two fucking years of my work gone. We ain't got any time left. Worse than a meltdown, says the expert. The spent nuclear fuel pool caught fire. Wait a second, Dana. A pool can't catch, catch fire, Dana. You're making it up as you go along, Dana. There's no such thing as a nuclear proctologist, Dana. Yeah, there is. Ooh, right here, bitch. No offenses to the women or dirt. It's an insult to call a guy a bitch, that's all. No, my apologies to anybody I'm offending. <laughs> I gotta do that every sentence, actually. Photographer in Fukushima, is it a panic? There's no way to escape. The gas stations are closed, rescues are all 
gun. Oh, but you got the power connected to the nuclear power plant strip, the whole coastline, Dana. You fear mongering, Dana. Dana Durfrey. That's right, the fear mongering. No one is Dana Durfrey, the world's greatest fear mongering. Just for another couple of years. Then everybody's going to go like, I wish the fuck I listened to Dana. You got any idea how many people are out there attacking me in a year's time, can't look their family in the face, can't talk to their loved ones, can't go to work anymore? I'm not talking about, I'm talking about just the trolls. Just keep going for getting myself in trouble here. <laughs> ah, Dana, get your acting gear. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Former diplomat, let me get me mug over here so everybody can throw poise at their screen. Fukushima disaster go on almost to infinity. And I'm afraid, official, it says. You're afraid. I was out there. Never mind. It will never be resolved if the situation at the plant continues. That's why I got to do what I'm doing tonight. That's why I got to keep showing back up here. That's why I can keep grinding and pounding. And just in case they lock me up, at least I got some more data out there. Same as they stole everything in my sight. Okay, I said I wasn't going to do that tonight. High radiation levels around the plant prevents helicopters from dumping water. 600 pilots, all 600 of them at Chernobyl died. Every fucking one of them. I'm swearing again. You know, look at that. Let me see if I can shake that for the rest of the night. Yeah, I don't care, right? Like, people out there are smearing me and saying, dude... Dana's calling for hey, I don't, I don't like that. I mean, you just killed the whole Pacific Ocean. What do you think the rest of the country is going to do when they find out? You think that's all they're going to call for? <laughs> we are still a long way from power being restored to Fukushima. If you don't get power after ninety minutes, they melt down. The whole coastline was like that. Look, fuck it. I just said I wasn't going to swear anymore. Here I'm swearing. Swear it. What does that look like to you? Do you think anybody got any power restored anywhere along the coastline when it all looked like that? Huh? Do ya? Really? Huh? Do ya? Do ya? Huh? Huh? Because if you do, you know, I'm so fucking sick of this. How about a contest? I'll save it for later. I got an idea. I'll do a video tomorrow. I know this one's going to cause a lot of trouble. I'll deal with me by tomorrow. Let's keep going. France, we're still a long way up. We're still a long way off from power being restored. See, if you don't restore the power after uh, 90 minutes, it's melting down. You can't get in. You can't get near it. You can't control it. You can't get the rods into it. You can't control the neutrons, the electrons. You can't you can't stop it. It's done. It's over with. After a couple of days, it's burnt off and gone. And so what they got to do is build a fiction, like I showed you earlier about Unit 4, for the distraction. We're going to cover more of that as we're rolling through this talk. <clears throat> Grave situation as highly radioactive mysterious steam. Mysterious steam? That's a radioactive plume. When you hear the word steam at Fukushima, that's a plume. That's all the stuff coming up from 9,000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures, atomized and aerosol, and ionized and radiated. Do you get it now, huh? Probably not. Bolts and Fukushima tanks will corrode in just a few years. Well, they proved they were right on that one, didn't they? Because... <laughs> It's just evil. Every way you look at this thing, it's just pure, disgusting, maniacal evilness. Fukushima reactor sipes and gold by steam. And so everything, once it goes through once, everything's contaminated. That's why you won't see Woods Hall or UVic or Harvard or Yale or Berkeley or MIT or Stanford or Oxford or any other institution there. I mean, Woods Hall has been down there over and over and over and over and over and over and over, right? They never went into Fukushima though, did they? Huh? Yeah? How come? Maybe Dana's right. You ever consider that? This is an extinction event. Fear of marine life is being poisoned. If it was just that. 
they're gone. There's no oxygen left out there to support them. Everything is gone. Anything that's left out there will be gone in a year. Not two years, but in a year. I used to, you know, last couple of months I've been saying two years won't be a whale out there. One year. In one year. If it lasts that long, I don't know how it's going to, but in one year there won't be a single whale left out there. Everything out there is maciated. TEPCO emits radioactive waters flown into the Pacific because they're pouring water down on top of the reactor and then they're claiming they're pumping it into the tanks. But at least 300 tons of it is washing over the fissionable products and straight out into the ocean through all the cracks from the earthquakes. Do you... Senior Japan official nuclear material flown into the ocean of grave matter. Situation at Fukushima is deplorable. It's deplorable. No, it's catastrophic. It's apocalyptic. It's an extinction event upon this planet. And you people better get your asses in gear and back me up. You better make me powerful. You better make me strong. You better make me well known. You better get this information out there. That is your job. I'm doing everything I can do. You're not working hard enough at it. Work harder. This is our last stand on this entire planet. And we're leading that charge. And I'll be damned if I'm going to sit here and do it by myself to the very bitter end. you got to make a stand out there. I'm not talking to the hounds. I'm talking to everybody out there that, that is learning this and coming across this and that is prosecuting me and vilifying me and victimizing me. How dare me be upset with the death of the Pacific Ocean? How dare me? For shame. Dare you not be civilized? Shut up. You got no idea how stupid you sound when you write those comments. Radioactive iodine found in Tokyo tap water. There's 10 times more 132 iodine, 30 times more 133, 31 times more 129 with a 15 million year half life, and the uh, reactors don't run on iodine. They run on uranium and plutonium, you fucking morons out there. Oh, we found some iodine. Shut up! You soulless, spineless fucking worm with eight arms and legs and a head. And traction in the media. Swiss Embassy evacuates Tokyo. Swiss. So, like, fuck that. We're out of here. Ba boom. Not because it was like bananas. Not because it was like walking in sunshine. Strong winds threaten Tokyo with more, 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 more radiation. What do you mean more, Dina? It was just a little bit, Dina. You fucking conspiracy theorist, Dina. He's not going to hurt nine days like a banana. Like walking in sunshine, Dina. And besides, you're not allowed to come and criticize anyone, Dana. We'll just arrest you, make you take down everything. We don't care about everybody, Dana. We don't have a soul, Dana. We are heartless, Dana. We have an agenda, Dana. We're doing it for somebody else, Dana. We don't give a fuck, Dana. That's what I heard in court, anyway. From Officer <laughs> Stephen Crux, K R U X or something like that, K R U K. I'll figure it out, put it here later. Black Smoke Biller in number three. Send your hate mail to Dana Durnford at thenuclearproctologist.org. Black Smoke Biller in number three containing polonium. Plutonium. Polonium. We know the ones that talk about polonium. It's disgusting people. Polonium 210 is natural. If it was 212, that means it had a couple of electrons on it from a neutron bombardment, now you got to put it in a sarcophagus till the end of time because the terrorists might get all of it and wreck your country. But who's the terrorist? Is Japan the terrorist? Or is the people that are, are covering this up terrorists? I think the people that are covering her up are the terrorists. Asby Brown is just small fry. That's why I say don't bother hanging Asby. He's going to suffer on his own little demented world. 
because he told her lies on video over and over and over. Black smoke from number three, because they all thought it wasn't going to extinct the ocean, probably. You know, who would think it would kill an ocean in four and a half years? Who thought that was possible? It, you know, well, you killed everything. So you killed all the bases of the food chain, then the oxygen and everything su suffocated. Then you took all the snow out of the mountains throughout the entire Pacific Rim nations. And so there's no cold water going down into the ocean. Salinity of it goes up. It's like... Black smoke is billowing from number three, containing polonium, but we don't know the reason. And so I'm not supposed to get upset because somebody, somebody out there can't look at that picture, number three, and say, I can't figure out why black smoke is coming out of it. It doesn't make any sense. See, I can't wrap my mind around how anybody got away with saying that sentence. Huh? Does that make any sense to anybody? How can anybody get away with saying that they don't know why there was black smoke coming out of a building that was crushed? Well, I don't know why it's coming out of there. I, it's just, you know, it kind of blew up and stuff. And I don't know what is black smoke containing polonium coming out of there. Jeez, we built those things pretty tight. I don't know what I'm doing here because I'll go into a fit here to once. Tell you drinking water on safe for infants. I'm just going to shut my mouth for a second here because I'm just about to scream. If I was in Japan and they told me there was radiation in my water and it was safe to drink to my face, I'm not allowed to say here in Canada anymore because the thugs now have self-censored me. I can't say what, as a Canadian, I'm entitled to say, because i got to wait till I get permission from the thugs before I'm allowed to say it, from the little cowards, from the chicken necks themselves, before I'm allowed to say it. It's the most disgusting place on the planet that will have no... In two years' time, there will be no rule of law in Canada because of what these fuckers are doing to us right now. There's no hope for a civilization anywhere because of what these fuckers are doing to us right now. Because they won't let us have a debate about it. Because then they got to admit to all the lies they told. And then they can't look their fucking families in the eye. So it's better to grab me and fucking Shanghai me and slow me down so their family can't know. That's it. I'm having a cigarette. My cigarettes don't got 7,000 chemicals in it. Right? So shut your fucking pie hole. Dean, you can't trust Dean. He's smoking cigarettes. Shut up! Fucking idiots. Get off my site and stay off my site. Stay off my fucking site. Stay off it. You don't like what I gotta say? Fuck off somewhere else. You chicken nicks. You cowards. You fucking traitors. Meanwhile, back at the farm, cooling system and reactor number five abruptly stopped working on Wednesday afternoon. Chop that out and use it against me. I don't give a fuck. It don't mean nothing anymore. You kill the Pacific Ocean, moron. How long do you think you can cover that up? And how many people think you're going to read your comment in the future is going to come out of fucking throttle you? Yellow rain recently reported in Tokyo also happened from Chernobyl. Government assures residents was Poland. <laughs> That's why Japan has a hanging laws. You should go down there and fucking hang them. Not Hasby Brown. Let him wallow in his own shit that's coming his way in the next year or two. Video Tokyo residents, I got red crap on my skin after going in the rain. It was unverified because we didn't get it from CNN or BBC. And cocksuckers, we never got nothing else from them either, did we? Excuse the language, folks. My apologies. Fucking got to blow off some steam, boy. Japan considering moving capital away from Tokyo. But there's nothing in the drinking water, right, Asby Brown? <laughs> Fuck, it's gonna come back in your face, bitch. Ho, 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 you got no idea. I'm sure you do. You think you can fucking escape it? Plastic surgery won't even fucking help you. Smoke at another Japan plant run by Tefco. See? 
Let me fucking articulate that up because the friggin' idiots are out there. Dina don't know what he's fucking talking about. Dina? There's nothing there. Dina, look at it. Dina's fine. See, that's not the picture I want to show you, though. Hang on. When the whole country looks like that, how can you not have melted reactors and leaky reactors throughout the whole coastline? Huh? How the fuck can you not? When you're supposed to get power after 90 minutes, how are you going to get power anywhere in there in 90 minutes? It'll take you 90 minutes just to get over to that boat. And you have fucking nails through your legs and your feet the whole time. Oh, Danny, you conspiracy theorist, Danny. There's no tsunami. There's no tsunami down there, Danny. You're making it up. <laughs> Hang on, we're fucking going as quick as I can. Don't like me? Fucking so me. Japan's official given current conditions a six to nine month plan to destabilize Fukushima. You ran out of homeless after three months for Christ's sakes. Hi Zoe. Engineers fear yesterday 5.9 quake may have caused fresh leaks. It quake after quake after quake. The first day they had another 100 aftershocks. And all that stuff fell down in the melted reactors and got consumed and atomized and aerosol and all noise and radiated because they come in contact with fissionable products. And that's what's going on all day, every day, till the end of fucking time, till there's nothing left on the planet, only those fucking reactors melting down. That's a fact. You know, two containment vessel leaking, leaking, leaking. It's all gone. That got confirmed a couple of weeks ago. There's nothing left inside of it. Suck up those buckyballs. I like the cancer on that one. Woo! But I mean, cancer shows up the last. It's 1,800 autoimmune deficiencies. Don't mind me tonight, folks. I got to burn off a bit of steam. I got to crank it up a little bit. I don't feel like I accomplished anything. You know, I work like a Dog to get to the stage. I work like around one of Raymond Gilmitty's victims. Big old dogs to get to the stage. Dan, I can't trust you, Danny. You smoked a cigarette. Shut your fucking pie hole. Let's keep going for a snap here today. So radiation number two, spent fuel pull millions of times above normal and thousands of times higher than trouble number four. Trouble number four. Trouble number four. Right? That's what I mean, right? See, does that look like fucking trouble coming up to you? Hang on. Does that look like trouble to you? Does it? Does that look like fucking trouble? Do you get what I'm saying to you? You, you, want, to, you want to tell it's worse than that? How the fuck could you want to be worse than that? Well, it was. Because there was polonium in them all. They don't, we don't know what was in unit 2 exactly. They ain't fucking telling. And nobody's really asking. But the headlines I go through, and I've covered, who knows how many now. It's over 10,000 headlines before we even went on the ocean. It's not just headlines I cover. Hang on, here we go again. Send you hate mail to Dana Durford at the nuclear proctologist.org. Yeah, yeah. I'll leave that up there for something to do, just to be a dick. Radioactive iodine found in breast milk. Here, honey, suck up your bucky balls. Squirt, squirt. You know, like, I feel bad for making that joke because that's a dead baby walking, crawling. Mother of an eight-month-old baby had 980 of this. You know, this is what I love, the Pico curries per kilogram. How can you be in Tokyo and not be completely polluted? You can't see. Everything is dying in Japan. They just don't know it. It's, it takes a few years for it to start to show up. It's showing up. So I rise. <laughs> I'll show you some headlines coming up. Almost half of Japanese women tested showed radioactive iodine 131. They didn't test for 132, 133, 129, uranium, plutonium, americium, neptunium, strontium, cesium. No, no. Just a one, just an eight-day half-life one. Do you get it? Do you understand what they've done to you? How they deceived you with the iodine? How they tricked you? 2,000 other radioactive elements. They talk about iodine with an eight-day half-life. Just the most despicable people on the planet. Anybody talks about iodine should be fucking tired and fettered and rode out of town. Probably can't even say that in Canada. Foot line piece of concrete emitting one siever an hour. <laughs> Nuclear proctologist got a full time client right there, tell you what. You're a dead man walking, you go sit on that shit. You won't be shitting anymore either. 
Japanese men's magazine investigate rumor the capital may be moved from Tokyo due to radiation threat. You know, I'll show you some of those Tokyo headlines. This is what this video is about tonight anyway. I'm not hanging Asby Brown. Let them leave him alive for the mob. Let him live so the mob can have him. But they know who he is. They won't forget what he done. Highly radioactive substances detected in Tokyo. Higher than what was found near Fukushima plant. And it's legal to hang him in, in Japan. So shut your fucking pie holes. I didn't say anything wrong. In Canada, I should have said, because we don't have a death penalty, you can't call for it. Unless you change the law, like I always call for it. Don't forget to cut that out now, when you repost it, you fucks. You cowards. Moody's cut TEPCO credit rating after today's news about reactor 2 and 3, saying the damage to the plant appears worse. Appears worse? Wait a second. The damage? Like, calling the damage... Calling Unit 3 damage, if, hang on, calling that damage means you got something wrong with your fucking head. Means you are not playing with a full deck. Means you are, um, you, someone has to tie your shoe every day. But no, no, the media puts out the headline. It's all mainstream media headlines I'm showing you. That's why you can't trust them. You just can't trust them. They got to spin it no matter what. Ah, oh, don't tell them that. <laughs> tell them something else. It's going to come back and hunt you. Scientists interested in learning more about technetium-99. Yeah, I bet you are. That's for fissionable product. Where the frick did that come from? Oh, I don't know. Fukushima and all the other melted reactors throughout the coastline. Are you learning? Did you get anything in your brains tonight? I'm not talking to the hounds. Nothing I say tonight is talking to the hounds. I'm talking to the trolls. I'm talking to the RCMP that are fucking stalking me for the last year and a half and took Woods Hole and Jovic and... and and the RCMP, and the FBI, and fucking took terrorism laws and used it against me so you couldn't hear what I'm saying. Yeah? That's exactly what they've done. They love you. They love you so much. They don't want you to know nothing. Keep paying your taxes. Take your chemotherapy. Only 2% of the chemotherapy patients live longer than they would have without it. And none of them lives longer without it anyway. And so it's a lose-lose and a real bad way where they make $50,000 a pop and they're guaranteed to kill you with it. They're guaranteed to kill you with it. And you, you'll live for a few years longer, but they're going to get you with it. If you survive, you were going to survive anyway. You're just one of those fortunate people. But it's 2%. Melted fuel in reactor number two appeared to have burned through the pressure vessel. <gasps> what? Loaded with rods containing polonium? Plutonium? 238, 239, 240, 241. That's what Dr. Raymond Gilmetti from Loveless Respiratory Research Institute was using polonium and americium on the beagle dogs and beagle puppies for 35 years. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of dogs and puppies were killed by Dr. Raymond Gilmetti with the same stuff that says everybody touches like a banana or a potato chip or walking in sunshine. Who are you going to believe? Huh? Green TV News directors exposed 148 millisieverts. Chromosome analysts showed seven cells out of a thousand were damaged. Just consider he was only exposed for a short period of time. Imagine living in that environment. See, do you understand now? Do you get it now? Expert detect five times higher radiation levels in Tokyo than announced by the government and Temple University. And Asby Brown, right? Yeah? You know what I'm talking about. He said there was none there. Oh, I never found none in the water. It's all gone. No iodine there whatsoever. So in one sense, he's telling the truth. But we know that the reactor's in steady uh, chain reaction, so you would find it if you actually look for it. But that's how he doesn't talk about cesium, strontium, and americium, neptunium, and particularly uranium and plutonium. By talking about the iodine, Tell you can't even stand to listen to the sound of his voice ever again. That's where I'm at this right now. Prime Minister ordered halt the cooling after he was voiced seawater can cause a chain reaction or criticality. Whoa! Too late now. You couldn't get fresh water in there. See? Do you get that yet? How many times do I got to tell you? Am I going to tell you 500 more times? You couldn't get anything in there because... It looked like that throughout the whole coastline. So what happens when you spray salt water 
It's a phenomenon known as uh, sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs. Hang on. Oh, it jumped for me. Okay. <coughs> and so spraying the salt water on it is like a nuclear bomb going off every two or three minutes. See, a chain reaction when it melts down, like Chernobyl was equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs after 10 days, but then it stopped. So after 20 days, it would have been equal to 800 Hiroshima bombs. And after a year, most things on the planet would be dead by now, long dead. But it stopped after 10 days. Three miles on, and it stopped after five days. So it was equal to a couple of hundred Hiroshima bombs. Because there's so many transient people around that area, nobody will ever know the true numbers. But the postulations have been done. So you can be loose at once in a while. Prime Minister ordered a halt because he learned about the sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs and how the sulfur was able to ingest the 2,000 radioactive elements, one of them, and turn that into a little nuclear engine that wasn't solubile in water and was highly transportable. Don't even hung around long enough, it makes sense. High levels of radioactive material found in Tokyo, 170,000 becquels a kilogram in the slag. <laughs> Should she, I got headlines for the sewage. We'll probably never get to it. But not in the drinking water. Ray Dasby Brown from Temple University. And then the, the president of the Temple University lets him get up and say it all over and over and over and provides him a venue and everything else. Who's the real criminal here? Is it Dana? Who showed you all this data and got upset and in and, 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 and desperation lashed out at the people who wouldn't give it up? Or is it Asby Brown? who got up there and got a podium and brought these people in there and lied and manipulated and deceived and, and misrepresented every aspect of it. I'm not the bad guy. And we got no time left. And that this is our one opportunity to go for broke, to fight for humanity's last stand. If you don't think this is humanity's last stand, you don't have a friggin' clue. You shouldn't be on my video. You're too incompetent to even understand how to tie your own shoes. Can you tie your own shoes? Pay attention to what I'm saying then. Nearly 5,000 nuclear plant workers suffered internal radiation exposure. 5,000 dead men walking. That's what, he, that's what he sent in all the homeless. And that's why Harvard and Yale and Berkeley, MIT, Stanford, Oxford, Woods Hole and UVic will never go in there. If fuel melted through the reactor... <laughs> It would react with the concrete floor of the primary containment and could add significantly to the total radiation release because it consumes the cement and the steel and the rebar and everything around it. But it done that right from the get-go. I'll get to that. Let's keep going until it's done. Because i got to burn this off my chest or I'm going to have to do it tomorrow. Let's keep going anyway. IAEA! International Atomic Energy Association informed in March that the number one reactor core started melting about 50 minutes. I always take a 50 cents. 50 minutes after cooling stopped. After cooling stopped. So, if it melted down 50 minutes after cooling stopped, then how hard is it to say that it took more than 50 minutes to get to the rest of the power plants on the coastline? Huh? Will you give me that much? Like, I know you don't believe that's real. I know you think I photoshopped all that. I actually didn't. That's actually real. Yeah. Hang on. Right, do you think that never ran through all the power plants like it ran through Fukushima? Do you think the wave just come into Fukushima only? Really, do you? <sighs> Let's keep going. We're getting through it. Melt a pile of fuel in three hours. The tsunami wasn't even going backwards yet. Way post surprise. Two more reactors melted down. Tepo, tep, Teplo. Tepco conveniently left that part out of the story. And now people are used to the situation. Nobody will ever get used to this till the end of time. There will be, there'll be jack shit left in 20 years. It's going to be really bad in another two years. All the species are gone in the Pacific and on the coastline. That only leaves us. Iodine 131 found at a nuke plant on Japan's west coast. Koba 58 found at a nuke plant in southeast Japan. You know why? Huh? Do you? Huh? Do you really? Do you really? Hang on. I'll show you why. I'll show you why. Because the tsunami took out the infrastructure. Yeah? 
And then all the debris that was left behind, it was impossible to get any cooling power. And after 50 minutes, we know they melt down. After 90 minutes, a perfect one would melt down. What the fuck happened? That's why we got a dead Pacific Ocean. That's why I'm yelling and crying and screaming that we do the moral and ethical thing and try to deal with this. Treat it like an event that it really is. That's not what I wanted. Dana, get your act together. Dana, you've been at this for a couple of days. You should have it mastered by now. Dana! Nuclear super typhoon. So the radiation in the water is heated up. And then those nucleoids are pure energy. Every second they're pulsing. Imagine a gram is more grains of sand and every sand on, grain in the sand on every beach on the planet. Imagine millions of pounds atomizing and aerosoling and getting into a typhoon. So take millions and millions and multiply it by gram, divide it by grams, and then multiply it by every grain of sand on every beach on the planet. It's infinity. And so that's why we're seeing those superstorms. Look what happened in the Philippines. 225 miles per hour, 200 sustained through the Philippines uh, two years ago. Both of, the tsunami, both of the typhoons converged on Japan, on Fukushima area, and then the boat went to the Philippines and they took out 42 provinces. They turned 30,000 trees into projectiles that were found 200 miles away. That the eye of the storm was 100 miles wide. The storm was 300 miles wide. And that it was stronger than a tornado. And that a tornado normally blows out after a couple of minutes and is only a quarter mile wide. Thank you. Come again. U.S. Navy forecast shows super typhoons may hit Fukushima super typhoons. So then we seen down in Mexico recently projecting 400 kilometers an hour. We've never even seen that on the Discovery Channel for Mars. And this is what we can expect from a heated ocean and no snow melts coming down the cool uh, coastlines down is a massive storm to show up. You know, projecting 258 miles to hit land is the most frightening thing imaginable. You can't even, um, that's not even the Hollywood shit yet. Anyway, if we do nothing, even Tokyo can become off limits. We may not be able to live in Japan someday. And it's going to be flown out till the end of time in reality. Japan detects extraordinary high levels of radioactivity on the other side of Japan and the south side of Japan and Sendai. Right to the country. Reactor number five cooling system stopped back up. Not working yet. And it melted down 50 minutes after the cooling stopped for number one. And so all the other reactors on the coastline were the same way. How could you get it? I'm not going to get that picture again, but how could you not have that happening? Japan announces cooling systems restored as fuel pool number one and four as the breakdown of cooling occurred at number five. So let's break that lie down for a second. Right, they come out with a bigger lie to cover up number five is what they've done. Think about that tsunami. There was no way to get any power in there. Think about the meltdown in an hour and a half. And think about... What they're saying is that they got the, the cooling at that building there restored. They got the cooling at this building here restored. Right? They got that cooling restored. See that? It needs a million gallons a minute and they got a fire hose on it. But oh no. Dana, don't get upset about it, Dana. We're covering it up, Dana. And you're by yourself. No one's going to stand up, Dana. Only the hounds. We already got them marginalized, Dana. We're cutting off your funding so you can't do what you need to do, Dana. Dana, what are you asking people for money for, Dana? You got a lot of nerve, Dana. All you've done was prove there was an extinction event out through the coastline of British Columbia, Canada, Dana. Beat whoop, Dana. We're not going to let it go out there, Dana, because we won't get our pensions, Dana. Dana causing trouble for people got a nice cushy job killing everybody. They really do. Fears that the storm deluge could spread radiation from uncovered reactor buildings into the air. Well, it knocks stuff down inside the building and the water and everything hits those melted reactors, those fissional products, and then they're atomized and aerosoled at thousands of degrees Fahrenheit temperatures. Will you people wake up? No, I'm trying. TEPCO official admits there will be major delay to contain crisis because of triple meltdown. Because of a triple meltdown. Because of a triple meltdown. It's a triple fucking meltdown. All throughout the coastline. That's why the Pacific died. We gotta get busy and stop this thing. 
There is nothing more important. Tepco shares hit record low. S&P cuts credit ratings to junk status. And so that's why they got the homeless, and that's why you won't see Harvard or Yale or Berkeley or MIT or Yovic or Woods Hole or Stanford or Oxford or anybody else there. Hospital, 40% of the Fukushima visitors show internal radiation. Death throws. That's a death sentence, you idiots. It's really not like a banana. <clears throat> Japan bans radioactive green tea from areas southwest on the other side of Tokyo. But Tokyo got nothing in the drinking water, Dana. I'm Asby Brown. I work at Temple University. In, in Japan, in, in Tokyo, there's none there. We checked it, Dana. There's no way you're dying. Show that up your ass, Asby Brown, you cracker. IAEA today admitted there is no such thing as a safe level of radiation and allowable radiation standards are based on benefit, not safety. There is no benefit. That's why we have terrorist laws. That's why we have nuclear waste sites in the repository. Well, we don't have a repository. The whole country is polluted from just the waste sites. But we just killed the Pacific Ocean. We killed it. It's dead. It's documented up at the nuclear proctologist. It didn't recede itself. That's, that's dead. The other four million species didn't say fuck it. They said, hey, we're not here anymore. We're dead. And, and the homesis theory, this crackpot bird brain theory that they're talking about allowed radiation standards based on benefit, not safety. These are fucking criminals that done that. They're still in, in office in power right now for the government. And the best thing that happened to them is they get rid of me. Because everybody else is too chicken shit to come out like me. That's a fact. So they're, they're, they're going to fucking barbarize me. They're, they're, they wrecked me for the last year and a half. They were calling the hotels I was going to and telling them I was a fucking fraudster and a thief and that I was just taking money from people. But I'm posting videos and pictures on my site all the time. Just unbelievable amount of data there. They kept doing it to me. And I would have... I done it all on nothing! On hand notes! We put the whole operation together, every nickel of it. Dana. Average person in Seattle breathed in 10 high radioactive particles a day. Who cares, right? Do you think it's just fucking Seattle? Are you that naive and that gullible? Do you think your loved ones wasn't breathing that in? The people that are covering this up, you fucking idiots. Do you think you're like some moral compass or something? Top cancer doctor, nuclear radiation, the most carcinogenic thing that exists. Bar nothing! I'm putting this video up, shitty audio and everything, don't care. Gotta do something. Government simulation shows radioactive plume of Krypton 85 over Tokyo. Forget about the uranium, plutonium, americium, plutonium, strontium, cesium, fuck it. Let's talk about Krypton 85 only. March the 15th for number three which was MOX fuel, mix oxide fuel. This is where they took missiles from silos. They were already unstable. Threw a chain reaction 40 years ago, two million times worse than they had already been. Reclaimed the plutonium, reclaimed the uranium, put it through a chain reaction again and made it two million times worse again. But we never found any iodine in the drinking water, Dan. I don't know what you're getting so upset about, Dean. Shut your fucking mouth. You fucking traitors to humanity. Japan confirms full meltdown at all three reactors. And I won't be the only person this fucking planet yelling that in six months or a year. When there ain't a goddamn fucking whale left in the ocean. Don't say I didn't do everything I could. Nobody ever fucking will get that right to say that about me. I never stop. In the last two years. I don't have a life. All I do is cover this data. And try to get enough people educated. So when he killed me. We can still have a conversation. 5.77 microsieverts per hour. Radiation measure near Tokyo. But we never found nothing in the drink of water data. I'm Ashby Brown from Temple University. I'm a professor. <laughs> A sign that a grave contamination is in progress in Tokyo. 2,300 becquel kilograms of radiation detected in the soil. 
near a plant in Koto Wan. What? But there's nothing in the drinking water, Dana. I'm Asby Brown. I got Woods Hold here with me at Temple University. A little, little over and over and over and over and over. How can it? A job like that because that is why they got the job. Your universities are full of these people. Every fucking one of them. Every one of them are out there watching my videos, waiting for me to say something so they can get me. Ignore everything I show them. Ignore everything that I got there. Ignore the whole implications. Find something I said. Use it to destroy me. I guarantee you, my videos might not be trendy right now. But in the future, when the anger grows, my videos will be pretty trendy. Then it was ahead of the curve. But everybody will be angry, and that's what they're going to look for. No one to run. Hot ready to particles in Seattle. Right through all the way to California, had 1,500 per cubic meter of air. Brown from Temple University. I'm a professor. <laughs> he signed that a grave contamination is in progress in Tokyo. 2,300 becquerel kilograms of radiation detected in the soil near a plant in Koto Wan. What? But there's nothing in the drinking water, Dana. I'm Asby Brown. I got Woods Hold here with me at Temple University. A little, little over and over and over and over and over. How can anything be that disgusting and still get a job like that? Because that is why they got the job. Your universities are full of these people. Every fucking one of them. Every one of them are out there watching my videos, waiting for me to say something so they can get me. Ignore everything I show them. Ignore everything that I got there. Ignore the whole implications. Find something I said, use it to destroy me. I guarantee you, my videos might not be trendy right now, but in the future when the anger grows, my videos will be pretty trendy. Then it was ahead of the curve. Because everybody will be angry, and that's what they're going to look for. No one to run, hot radioactive particles in Seattle. Right through all the way to California, had 1,500 per cubic meter of air of the sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs from spraying salt water on the reactors. And we don't, these are the worst thing imaginable. Everything that comes into Fukushima is a hot particle. That's why the ocean is dead. Like 1% of 1% of 1% of 1% of whatever was in the ocean left is not life. That's not life. Go look at my other videos. 230,000 becquerels. Tokyo, square meter of cesium on an athlete's field in Koto, six times as high as limits set for radiation control zone, Asby Brown Temple University, that whole crew, there's no radiation here, sir. They have lecture after lecture after lecture after lecture, and they were equated with bananas, potato chips, and potassium-40, and just natural, normal, indigenous, everyday, stupid, natural, background, radiation. Radioactive T limits above 100 miles southwest, that's, that's the other side of Tokyo from, because uh, uh, Fukushima's north, and so south is the other side of Tokyo. But Tokyo got none, Dana. We got, uh, everybody went outdoors and said, whoa, stay away, radiation. And it did, Dana. You can't prove it didn't, Dana. We're university professors, Dana. We're Asby Brown at Temple University, and the rest of you creepy little freaks. Radiology expert finds up to 45 microsieverts an hour. That's fucking scary shit. Near a school zone. 90 times higher than Chernobyl. I mean, everybody in Japan should move to Chernobyl. It's way less radiation. Way less radiation. And don't fucking try to tell me how I can talk on a video ever again. Anybody does that, you're blocked. Fuck you. Tell me how I can talk. Government tells come and tell you how to fucking talk. I don't come on and criticize you. Unless you're a lying sack of shit. So leave me the fuck alone. Government tells companies to conceal info on radioactivity tea leaves because the public is anxious. They're going to fucking hang you people soon. Nobody can blame them. I'll be fucking cheering. You might not like it. I like it. I got no issues with it. Get the fucking hangings on. 
Well, at least you're not going to hang it from a crane like you do in Afghanistan, where there's millions dead, millions missing, millions of refugee camps, millions of orphans to get 10,000 gangbangers. I support the troop. You shut your fucking mouth. You're disgusting people. 100 million beckles per cubic centimeter. They actually measure it by cubic meter, which is 1,000 liters. So divide cubic centimeters into 1,000 liters and come up with your new number and tell me it's all like a banana. I like to shove a, centi- a, a cubic centimeter of it down your fucking throat. I don't care how many people chops up my videos and takes it out of context. I don't give a fuck. People will think that's trendy in the near future. Dana was awesome. They were like, that was cool. Dana was fucking right. You watch. Hard to imagine something much more frightening than a five-year-old marching off to school. You ain't seen anger like you're going to see coming. I'm nothing compared to what's coming. I'm nothing. Because people are going to find that was not like a banana and a potato chip walking in the sunshine because there won't be nothing left in the Pacific Ocean. And they're going to come out and hang their head and say it's all fucking gone and you will be too. All of you. All you fuckers that tormented me and tried to stop me from doing what I was doing and completely unfounded, smeared me everywhere I went and everything I'd done and harassed me and criminalized me and vilified me constantly. You're still not going to stop me. I'm still going to do what I'm going to do because i got no choice because it appears I'm the only fucking one out there with a brain or a heart or a soul or that even cares. Except for the hounds of Fukushima that supported me all the way through this. But all these fucking cocksucking trolls out there, excuse the language, all these mega trolls out there, no offense to megas, effects of radi- a radiation do not come to people that are happy. Why, why don't the police go arrest these people? Why don't they go arrest them for causing people to eat the seafood? Huh? How come you don't see Uvic and Woods Hole or Harvard or Yale going up to look at the dead whales on the coastline? I'm going to get pissy here in a second. I'm not careful. No one yet wants to think about the potential effects of radiation that a baby's born around this atom. I do. All the fucking time. Asaka. Asaka. That's where that little prick Ryan Dawson is to. Was to take, because people were pooping and pissing it out constantly. I got a whole folder on Asaka. It's a huge amount of radiation. It's just the nuclear lap dogs are fucking vicious. They're vicious. That's why I'm like I am. I'm up against the most vicious thing imaginable. The most heartless, soulless things imaginable. The people that got dragged me into court and pressed charges and everything else. You think they're not fucking soulless? You think they're not fucking heartless? You think they don't give a fuck about anything other than themselves? You better guess again, you morons. You'll find out how worried I am in six months or a year when there's nothing left in the ocean whatsoever. There's nothing there. Whatever's there is failing left, right, and center. In a year's time, it'll be gone. It's gone. There's nothing left on the coastline. The ocean didn't recede the coastline. There's nothing can survive. That's a fucking fact. Melted full fuel, releasing hundreds of different radioactive materials, actually thousands. Official refused to investigate 90% of them. No, they only look at iodine because they got an eight day half life. That's why you only hear Harvard and Yale, Woods Hole, and UVic, and Stanford and Oxford only mention iodine. These are the disgusting people. Death ashes. Death ashes. From the melted reactors, from the meltdowns, those explosions, the detonations. Throughout the whole 500 mile coastline where the tsunami wiped out everything. All of these places blew up, caught fucking fire, just like in Japan. Just like in... um, New study on mysterious black substances released fuel core material from Fukushima. But it's more than Fukushima that melted down, see? The Dodoni plant had four reactors wouldn't go and the coal shut down all on its own. I tell you, go look at my other videos, but I had to take down 300 of them because the government decided I wasn't allowed to leave them up there until they get they destroyed me. They haven't stopped trying to destroy me at any news in the comment section, have they? Just fucking relentless on me. Oh, Dana can play a guitar, so he's probably not crippled. Tell that to the people who spent 15 years to get me out of my hospital bed. Tell that to the home care that came to my home every day for three years, seven days a week. Tell that to the doctors. Tell that 
to my loved ones, tell that to the people, to my friends, my families that watch me be destroyed, watch me go from the best job on the planet to a person that was destroyed by the system itself. And you tell me that I'm here today when I should never even been able to, to, to stand up again, let alone walk again. And that, that's, that somehow, because I worked hard for 15 years with so much help and so much love from my friends and family, that I managed to get some kind of life again and that I can, I can play guitar. So therefore, everything I said must be fake. That's the comments over the news from Sadie Dog. The fucking evil, evilest person imaginable. And the, the elephant in the room over there. The most demented fucking people imaginable. And I can't go and defend myself on these stories. I can't go on the internet and defend myself against the Globe and Mail and CBC and the Japanese Times and the smears out there that they neutered my site by when I got out of jail I had four strikes on it to make sure I couldn't come out and tell the story and now I struggle to get to the day where I post this video at night and I'm fucking back and, I'm, and it's on highly significant qualities of physical products are flushed into the environment by water use on the Fukushima molten fuel including plutonium and curium now, curium is from, after you put the rods through a chain reaction, now the rods will produce curium. And so even though we're in the spent fuel pool, they'll still produce curium. And curium is the one we should be looking for. Not iodide or cesium or strontium or any of that. No. Curium is the biggest one produced. Right? They told you it was iodine. They told you it was cesium, right? It's not. It's curium. Once the rods went through the rods, the biggest producer is curium. There's a whole bunch of atomic numbers and that's 100% man-made, right? Curium is. Fukushima report, concern over plutonium and uranium being deposited and reconcentrated far away, like in North America, transferred to land via sea spray, aerosol, flooding, human exposure by inhalation, food, contact, just by being in it and getting rained on it. You don't think that the extinction event in the Pacific Ocean is not the harbinger for the rest of the life on this planet? You fucking better guess again. Your money is worth nothing. Your future is worth nothing unless you fight tooth and nail for one. There is no future. You have to fight with everything you got. And right now, what you got is me. Front and center. Ready to go to battle. Day after day. Already battle worn from 260 days on the coastline. I'm good to go again. I had a month off. Fucking fuel me up and send me back at it. That's all I'm asking. Support me. Like you never supported anything in your life. And I'll get the results you want. If you don't do that, they'll fucking do me and you're done too. That's a fact. You can mark it down and take it to the bank. The only one out there that's going to be able to argue the points, get in their faces, has the tenacity, and has the willpower and the gumption. Old crippled guy who lost his wheelchair over in a boat by himself. Out on the fucking coastline looking at the devastation. And they, no media reported on that. But hey, two sentences and 500 videos. They sure as fuck reported on that one. Wind blew this way and radiation levels were as high as Fukushima City. Shocking, see? Secret worst scenario was reactor exploding at number one and number four spent fuel pool drying up. Hoo hoo hoo! Dry it up! Dry it up at number four! Dry it up! What the fuck? Who the fuck just said that? Look at this. Does that look like it dried up to you? No, they ripped it all off. It's all gone. They fabricated it. Then they said, oh, it looks like this. Oh, it looks like that on the inside. Hey, wait a second. It looked like that. You get where I'm coming from. You see the magnitude, and you see how easy it is if you don't do your own research, if you don't look it up. That's, I know, that's actually... You know, I had to look for months to confirm the pictures of each of the four reactors. It took months. Didn't it? You people know. Fukushima worker concerned about withdrawal from plant. Japan nuclear companies are shifting the staff away. Uh-huh. Leaked plague in Fukushima number five reactor. That melted down too, by the way. Expert indicates deterioration in the system. Water contained up to 3,000 becquels a liter. Cobalt 60. Because that's, that's all was left. Everything else was already gone. 
These are the worst people on the planet that we're talking about, folks. This is the most despicable thing they've done to us, the entire planet, and they're going to keep doing it to try to cover it up. They are. They have doubled down in order to cover this up. I'm going to have a smoke. Don't open your fucking mouth. If I see the comment there, you're blocked and you're gone. I haven't got time with all the trolls. All I can do is block them and gone. Sometimes people innocently gets blocked. I'm just fucking block, 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 block. I can't have people lying on my site when I put so much fucking work into it. I'm not going to have people come in and lie. I'm not going to have people come in and send them over to the apologies and to the, the fucking machine itself to demonize me and swear me. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to let them sit on my site. It's my fucking site. You don't like it? Go to fuck somewhere else. It's my site. Stock me for 500 videos to find a couple of sentences. You're not normal. There's something wrong with your fucking head. You're a moron and you're dangerous. You're a fucking dangerous moron. Top government nuke official warned Tokyo may have to be evacuated. But Asby Brown from uh, Temple University and from SafeCast in Japan has told us repeatedly that they never found any and you can put your fate in them. I'll put my fate in all the headlines I got gathered up before I put my fate in a no nuclear apologist that puts the shields out there to fool the people. To fool the friggin... You gotta think about it. It's just shocking that that people like that are allowed to get away with lying and expect that uh, killing the Pacific Ocean is not going to have any kind of repercussion. Curry and plutonium outside the Fukushima plant indicated a nuclear explosion in number three. And the broken, spent nuclear fuel rods may have been scattered. This is splitting the atoms till the end of time. Each piece of it. And each one of those rods are full of little little nuggets, little one gram per se little balls of uranium and plutonium. And if you took one of those balls after it went through a chain reaction, it'll just fill up your environment. If I put a ball here, I'll be dead in a few minutes. If you put a pound here, everybody will be dead forever until the end of time. You can kill the whole planet with a pound of it. If you can get them all to walk through one building for 20 minutes, you'll kill everything on the planet. Every animal, every human, every species, everything on the planet with a fucking pound of it. We had millions of pounds of it dead in eight. There was nine million pounds in the common spent fuel pool on the ground when that tsunami came through in Fukushima. What the fuck do you think was that in all the other reactors throughout the coastline when that tsunami ripped it and ripped it apart, huh? Americium-241 plutonium. 238, 239, 240, 241, 242, 243, 243. Detecting all soil samples off the Fukushima coast. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're talking about the ocean, mister. That's okay. It's like a banana. Shut up, sleeve. Curium-242 and 244 to blame for spontaneous nuclear fission. Of re reactor number two had a spontaneous... Spontaneous is still in chain reaction. It, there's no such thing as a spontaneous chain fucking reaction, for Christ's sakes. The people who wrote those headlines, I hope they're from Japan where they can hang them legally. Nuclear fission may also be happening in reactor 1 and 3. Curry mentioned, who oh, I bet it was. Of course it is. The fucking thing's melted down, dead and it blew up. Cock fire, melt it down, detonate it. That'll never fucking stop now. It's not like Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. These creatures didn't stop. Hey, we're, we're on fucking end times. 50,000 beckles a kilogram in Tokyo, but they can't find any in the drinking water, Dana. We're almost through it. We're getting there. A hubba, 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 hubba. Terrifying that the samples were taken from the side of the street where the children walk every day. But Dana, you smoke a cigarette. Why should I listen to you, Dana? I don't care if you listen to me. I hope you go away and fucking choke on a goddamn banana. I'll make a video and teach you how to fucking choke on one if you like. I'll do it just for you. Nuclear expert says Americium has been found in New England. And the elements were heavier than uranium. You're talking about some one ten thousandth of a millionth of a meter. Take a meter. Three feet. 
Now chop it up into a million. Now take one of those one millions. Right? Divided by 10,000. Look, the force fires are a thousand times bigger than those particles. If a force fire can come over, they'll come over. Talking about the atomic weight where it's heavier than this or heavier than that is irrelevant when you're talking about a fucking atom. You clean your whole house up, it's full of dust floating around on a sunny day through the windows, right? You can't clean that stuff, can you? Well, that's a thousand times bigger than what I'm talking about. And that'll kill you. It'll take a few years, but there's 1,800 autoimmune deficiencies, Alzheimer's, dementia, autism, uh, diabetes, respiratory, heart problems will show up long before the cancer. Unfortunately, everything we got is hot particles. So everything's going to show up a lot quicker than it is. We're almost through it. Curium-244 detected for the first time outside the Fukushima plant. Requires lead shield 20 times thicker than plutonium. That's curium, see? That's what I mean, right? This stuff is extraordinary. That's why they didn't mention it. That's why they don't talk about it. That's why they only mentioned the iodine. That's why they never, they never even mentioned iodine 129 with a 15 million year half-life. Half-lives times 10. There's 10 half-lives. So they're, they're just a lying sack of shit. Everything about them is a lying sack of shit. Experts don't know how radioactive cesium from Fukushima ended up so far west, so west of Tokyo. Hey, I got a novel idea. It's called wind. It's called jet streams. So what kind of expert would say we don't know uh, about wind? That's what you're looking at there. But people say, well, the experts don't know, Dana. <coughs> right? And that's why all your friends call you a moron all the time, by the way. Japanese media blackout for words, mocks, plutonium, meltdowns. TEPCO is going the very best way to kill everything on this planet. These reactors are breeder reactors. Tokyo tea leaves with 2,700 barrels a kilogram of radioactive cesium. Pfft, who cares, man? Big deal, Dana. She's like a banana, Dana. It's only elementary school children, Dana. No one cares about child school children. I know you don't, you fucking demented fucks. You sick and twisted, demented, disgusting, useless, sub-fucking humans that you are. Stay off my sight. Stay away from me. Leave me the fuck alone. Press conference. Journalists asked if contaminated water was dumped in Bandolero Park. Los Alamos officials could not answer. So they burnt a bunch of it. But plutonium, for instance, its parent daughter is a gas. So if it's not in its environment, it turns into a gas. Very high concentration of hot particles in the Pacific Northwest. Gluten plutonium and americium and all the other ones. The other 2002. These were the stuff that were in the sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs from spraying salt water and that reaction of the sulfur in the water, they knew about this in the 40s and the 50s, right? During the o ocean testing of nuclear weapons. That this was amazingly dangerous stuff. They just kept doing it, though. We're almost there. Lady Gaga promised to promote Japan as a safe def destination. I'm going to run around Tokyo and enjoy the little beautiful city and kiss all the beautiful little monsters. Well... I'm just going to call it Gaga because we don't know what it really is. It's not human because it doesn't care about people. 6.4 microsieverts per hour detected in the outskirts of Tokyo, just a few meters away from children on a playground. But hey, it's okay. It's all right. Don't you worry. Don't matter, Danny. You were smoking a cigarette, so we're not going to listen to you. Fuck off. Frenchmen living in Tokyo. All of my videos... Regarding Fukushima, I have been cancelled from YouTube. Not one left this morning. Well, I don't like you. Uh -huh. I had to take down 300. I'm back in business. I got arrested. That's a little badge of honor. And i only been to court twice. And we still ain't got a lawyer. And I can't have a trial without a lawyer for these kinds of cases. And I can't say much because they're monitoring me like they have been for the last year and a half. We got into disclosure. They're monitoring everything I do, everywhere I go. Like I say, when I was up north doing the expeditions, I finally went ashore and got a hotel. They were fucking deer taking pictures of me. They contacted the hotel owners and said I was a scammer and a fraudster and they should kick me out. They contacted the local media and the community and told them not to talk to me. And I'd done an interview in Queen Charlotte City. Showed them all the data that you see here tonight. 
and a whole lot more. And she wrote an article a week later about John Disney and Massett and that he didn't find anything. But like I showed you all these headlines, I showed her all the Canadian headlines of all the institutions finding it, but no, never found nothing. Ignore Dana, Dana, woo, Dana, you don't exist. We're an hour and a half into it. One headline left. Who knows what that one is? Might as well bring it up. I suppose something to do. Seals and walruses now on precedent a number of sea turtles deaths in Vancouver Island. This is oceanographic. Uh, these are not from Uvic or from Woods Hole, okay? That's scientists. No. Those guys are not going to admit anything. And they're desperate to silence me. And if you don't put your back behind me, if you don't make me powerful and make me stronger or make me put me out there and shove me out there with everything you got, not that we got, I don't think we got a chance anyway. I really don't. Because I always understand that I don't get any traction anywhere. And now I know the FBI and Woods Hole and UVic and the RCMP in Canada conspired for the last year and a half where they're waiting for me to say something obnoxious so they can arrest me. And so I won't be on YouTube. I'll be posting my videos there after I do the live stream. But I'll be doing a live stream starting in a day or two. And I'll be doing a little video to show you, get you all the links. We don't want the trolls to be able to miss me. But I'm telling trolls right now, don't come over to my new sites. Go somewhere else. Go over and hang out with your own kind. You don't need to come and torment me. All you're going to do is piss me off and enrage me and force me to blog four hours a day, seven days a week, because that's what's going to happen from here on out. And there's a contest coming in a couple of days, and it's a doozy. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not telling you yet. There's a good contest coming, though, for a bit of fun. I want to tell you because I want to have a bit of fun with it, right? So, let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of that, and let me say that the audio is not great, I know that. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning as I'm going. I'm desperate to get back on and start streaming. And so I come out with a couple of videos, test videos, shove it out there. And there are a few people out there who will listen to it. And they'll put up with it. They'll turn the volume down. Hopefully it'll be loud enough this time. But like you got to understand, I'm so freaking busy with everything I'm doing and trying to create videos and put the data out there on top of it. Why not? I got nothing better to do, do I? Hugs for everybody. Take care, folks. We'll get another video out and let you know where the stream live streams are coming over the next day or two. I'm just worn out. It might take me an extra day. But once I start, I'll be blogging seven days a week. And I'm, I'm tempted to go four hours a day. I really am. Because we're in a desperate mode and I don't know what to do. But I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm begging everybody all the time. I won't stop. But it's not happening for us. We don't have we don't have the power or the or or the monetary to deal with all the issues we got. We just don't have it, and so we got to find somebody that's really going to help us. But I'm going to keep fucking begging for support, and you can do it at the nuclear proctologist. You can donate there with your credit cards, and you can go to to the PayPal, and just you can find the links below and just type in Dana Durnford D A N A D U R N F O R D at hotmail dot com. Into PayPal, and you can lend it. If you got, <coughs> <coughs> if you got three houses, sell one. Give me the fucking money. If you got five cars or four cars, sell one. Give me the money. And if we had a thousand people do that, it still probably wouldn't be enough money. But I can guarantee fucking to you, I will bring it to them like they have never even imagined. I will assemble a team of people. And we will go out there and we will fucking demolish their narrative in every venue. But I can't do that on my own. I need, I need, I need a fucking powerhouse behind me to pull that off. And it's out there. It's looking at me. It knows it's the right thing to do. And I will push for that opportunity till there ain't a fucking animal left on this planet. I will still push with everything I got. Unless they fucking take me out. And then hopefully I educated everybody enough that they can do that for me. But I know, you can't pull the wool over my eyes anymore. It's not like a banana potato chip walking in the sunshine. And I disrespect you for fucking us over for so long until the point of no return. Because this is our last stand. 
and I'd be fucked if I'd be sitting on, sitting around, not doing nothing. I'm busy all the time. Hugs for everybody. Take care, folks. <laughs>